Welcome to another episode of Man Tips. Today we are going to be fixing a garage door. That won't close. So I recently had to have the springs replaced as one snapped. And when the garage door company came out to fix it, they left the spool and cable too loose so that as it comes up here as it's in its full relaxed position it is coming off the pulley on both sides and what's causing the, to stop up is the cable is getting caught around the axle and it is not allowing the garage door to close properly so what we're gonna be doing today is tightening up the cable on the pulley First thing you're going to want to do, since we're going to be removing the cable from the uh, support and give yourself a little more working room, is to push the door up as much as it'll go and we're going to vice grip it right there. This is a little safety step and it'll give you a little more working room too. What I'm going to do here is take my little socket, loosen, sorry, just loosen these bolts up just a little bit. So I'll be able to move the pulley without having to move the axle. I want to move them about the same amount so I can tighten them back at the same amount too. So I did about a quarter turn on each one just to loosen it up. And now what I'm going to do, but I'm going to have to put the phone down to do it, I'm just showing you, is I'm going to tighten, I'm going to tighten the pulley and the cable that's attached to it so the cable will not be loose in this position and it will allow it to open to its full state without turning the axle and without the cable coming off the pulley. Show a different angle and how I've loosened it. You can see now the pulley will move freely without turning the axle that's attached to the counterweight springs. So if you get look really close you can see there's grooves for the cable to sit. So I'm gonna have to put the foot down, phone down because I need two phone or two hands. I'm going to run the cable properly wound around this pulley in the grooves and then I'm going to tighten these bolts back up evenly so that it will stick firmly to the axle and I will show you what it looks like when it's done. So that's one side wound back. You can see there's not a lot of tension here now in its full position. This is back to the to where I tightened it so it when it turns it turns with the axle so that will be lowered as the garage door is put down and I'm going to go to the other side. I got the same thing over here. This is how it is after I failed to close it the first time. So I'm going to do the same thing. First I'm going to put the vice grips in. I am going to loosen those bolts rewind it so there's no tent so there's a, a little more tension in the cord and not so much slack and i'll go ahead and skip through that really quick and show you what it looks like when it's done all right so here's the second one as you can see i wound it around the pulley in the right spot a little slack but not a lot pull the vice grips out they both still look good let's go ahead and We'll test this together, how about that? And we're now going to try and... Look at that. It's almost like I did it on purpose. Another man tip in the book. Man tips. <laughs> 